Okay guys, so we are on to the next step. Um, we are getting ready to put the harmonic balancer on, or vibration dampener, whatever you want to call it. I think it's in the book, it's technically called the vibration dampener. Um, this is your tone ring. Um, there is an alignment dowel. So when you grab this guy, there is an alignment dowel that just lines that guy up. And we've gone through and kind of cleaned all this up. And um, we'll be doing another round of cleaning before we go ahead and paint the motor. So not super worried about it. Um, and then we have this guy here, which if we just... There we go. Had to use two hands. Um, then we have, and we, we have cleaned that all to make sure that it's proper. You know, there's nothing. We just want to make sure there's no dirt or crap in the threads sitting behind the dampener or behind the tone ring so that we get a nice even seat on it and we do that because you don't want one of these guys to be whomper jawed and, and uh, throw you off because it will we've had a couple of these I had a friend of mine who even had one and it gave him all kinds of trouble Till he got it right. So we've got all of those, and then we should have one more kicking around over here. Yep, from when we turned the motor over. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put those in. It's a 15 mil if you're using your factory bolts, if you're not running an aftermarket dampener or doing anything else. So we're gonna go ahead and suck those down, and then we're gonna tighten them to 92 feet pounds. Um, it says 135 in the Haynes manual. Um, it just seems really excessive. I don't think I've ever done over 95 on them. So I would say take them down to 95, but do your homework, look up another torque specs. But the two that I had right in here in front of me was Cummins at 92 and Haynes at 135. Big difference between 135 and 92. So I'm just going to go ahead and take them to uh, an even 95 there, and we will call that done for the vibration dampener or harmonic balancer. Um, one thing that we do want to note there, so you can see that stamped line in there, uh, that is the TDC mark. Unlike the 12 valves and earlier ones, these guys actually have a TDC mark where you can roll that up, and I believe it points TDC is pointing straight the base of the fan hub would be right here so kind of that bolt right there would be TDC you'd have to look that up I just remember something talking about that in terms of TDC for that um, but we'll go over that later on when we're setting valve lash all right so there it is your harmonic balancer and we will see you on the next piece